I've had an incredible journey as a nuclear medical science officer in the Medical Service Corps. I'm Major Matt Stokely. My current position is the Chief of Health Physics and an instructor at the Defense Nuclear Weapons School. Here I'm responsible for the radiological and nuclear defense and emergency response training of airmen, soldiers, sailors, marines, and other state and civil first responders. As a 72 Alpha, nuclear medical science officers are primarily responsible for the medical defense that's related to chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear matters. As an officer on the U.S. Army Healthcare team, you'll have the opportunity to enhance your skills while working in areas that support our national defense. You're assigned to various Army medical centers, as well as military and defense agencies like the Department of Homeland Security, the Pentagon, the Office of Surgeon General, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, and the U.S. Army Nuclear and Counter CWMD Agency. In those locations, you can serve as a radiological and nuclear health effects subject matter expert. You can be assigned across the continental United States or overseas in Hawaii, Germany, Korea, Japan, or in your local community in the Army Reserves. Academically, to qualify as a 72 Alpha, you must have a master's degree in physics, health physics, nuclear engineering, radiobiology, radiochemistry, or a related field. If you have a bachelor's degree, you can be accepted with commensurate work experience. And there are more educational opportunities available. By joining AMED, you can be selected to attend graduate school while on active duty, receiving full pay and benefits with no out-of-pocket tuition costs. Upon graduation, you incur an active duty service obligation of four years for a master's if needed and five years for a PhD. In addition to academic training, AMED offers additional free training. These include medical, technical, operational, emergency response training, and this comes from joint and service-specific training centers and national laboratories. The career experience as a nuclear medical science officer is special because we have the task of taking our technical knowledge and using it to support and defend the United States and our allies. Through radiological and nuclear medical defense, you'll be giving amazing opportunities that are both challenging and extremely rewarding when completed. You have to have the drive, determination, the technical knowledge to succeed, but there's a team of other nuclear medical science officers there to help lift you up, and as a team, we can all succeed.